Easy trail to Kakwa is that way, but I think that's definitely the more interesting way. It's been two years since we've been and we have a four day window, so we're heading to Kakwa Falls this weekend. Well, good morning. So this morning we find ourselves at the trailhead to what I think is our most remote trail here in Alberta. It's only about 450k from our house, but it's a good seven hour drive just to get there and pretty much an all day to where we're going and back out again. It's a beautiful weekend. Well, at least that's what the forecast says. Finally, some of that fire smoke has abated a bit so that it's, it's not as thick as what it's been. So the plan today is to go reach Alberta's tallest waterfall. And at this time of year, it should be gorgeous. Find a place to camp somewhere and pretty much just enjoy a great overlanding trip with some friends that we brought along again. So Chris and Mike are joining us. But before we do anything this morning, it's time for coffee. You gonna grind it? <laughs> going to be looking out for Brindle Rock all week. The trail is maintained and looked after by the Swan City Snowmobile Club. And they do a great job. The washrooms, they're scattered here and there. They're clean, they're well kept. We appreciate that, thank you. It's pretty wet in here. I love them deep potholes. They are, aren't they?
turns out the water is much shallower than it was last time and this crossing was pretty easy. Good step there. You need to be yeah. that side. So we really intended to go down. We've come here a couple of times, always wanting to hike down to the bottom, and we gave it a try this time. And I'm not gonna lie to you. That's sketchy. Very sketchy. We're not too comfortable with this. The ropes are well laid out, but there's a section just in front of us here that's been washed out over the years, I think. And there's a big gap with no ropes. Not much for traction on this sand. No, nope, this is where we stop. Awesome view, but this is where it's gonna end. Good. Good. So from the top, you think you're 20 years old. After the first rope, you think you're 30 years old. After the, four, the fourth rope, you realize you're well past 40. No self-respecting 50 year old would come down here. <laughs> And along the way, we're supposed to get wiser. So I think that moment might have happened. We got to the bottom and thought, no, not today.
spot on the left work for you, Eugene? Yes, it sure does. Okay, you pull in and I'll back up behind you. Christina insisted that she supply all the food for the weekend. And I tell you, we ate very, very well. Holy, that looks good. It does, doesn't it? Made a What a fantastic morning. Today the plan is to make it kind of halfway home, find ourselves a nice camping spot, get away from these mosquitoes that are pretty thick, break our trip in half on the way back home because it is, it is a bit of a drive to get here. The trail has been much improved. It's a lot easier than it was last time that we came. And we discovered that there's an old way and a new way. So the sign actually points to the left and we went to the right, not knowing, because that's the only way we, or at least that's the only way I know how to get there. And I think the old way is a much more entertaining way. A lot more small obstacles, water crossings, very scenic, definitely the way to go. So this morning, plan is to make coffee, pack up camp and hit the road make it at least halfway for and find a nice camp spot.
talking to some people on quads, there's a second trail to get in here, or a newer trail. They were telling us we took the old trail. We could take the new trail on the way out, but they're talking about rig mats and pretty easy going, and we actually saw a pickup truck come in, so that trail's a lot easier. Easier trail's not usually our first choice, so we're gonna go back out using the more challenging route. Under the Jeep for something. What did they do? In I think we're gonna have to drop it down. Okay. So we can go back. Unless I can get it to go forward. No way. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's grab a pry bar and push up a bit. Push up. I think that's it. There it goes. There it goes. And there's the crow to laugh. Oh. Better. As it turns out, the tailpipe hit the bank just right and actually pulled the section out and separated the muffler from the exhaust pipe. And remember the secure your cargo. We put a whole bunch of stuff to the side of the trail. Fuel cans, chairs, tools. Expensive stuff, don't lose it.
Knack, knack, knack. Just knock, knock inside you.